Hello guys, this is Akib and uh, uh, in this video we are going to talk about knife based classifier and we are going to solve another uh, another problem by using knife based classifier and we are going to predict what is uh, the target classification and let's get started. So the formula for knife based classifier is this. So there is a probability for knife based classifier the outcome is basically the argum arg max the maximum value of the probability uh, coming from uh, one of the class so either it's like uh, for any specific class which is which is which has some probability uh, and all the probability for that specific class will get multiplied by some other probabilities um, like this so all the all let's say like all the positive class probabilities will get multiplied together and uh, this is the multiplication sign all right and all the negative class uh, probabilities will get multiplied together and whatever the highest probability for if it is higher probability for a positive class then the target result will be positive and if the highest probability is for negative class the target classification will be the negative so that's it so it's very simple so let's solve it quickly because uh, I'm very excited about solving this problem okay so we are we are given a question we have given a question to solve the problem for uh, for 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 outlook outlook equal to sunny so this is the instance which is given to us and temperature equal to cool and humidity equal to high and wind equal to strong all right so this is the instance which is given to us and this is the, the whole table for all of the instances uh, and we are asked to predict what is the target label for this instance all right and uh, this is the data set we have already this is the training data set for uh, so so we can train our classifier by using this data set all right so <coughs> so it is very simple it's going to be very simple let's solve it So since since uh, it says to calculate probability for all of the classes, but get multiplied by the probability related probability of that specific classes specific classes. So we, we can identify how many classes are there in our data set. We have two classes, yes and no. So we can write it down. Yes. One is going to be yes and another is going to be no. All right and uh, then we are going to calculate the probability of yes probability of yes in our data set and then we are going to calculate the probability of no in our data set so how many yes are there in the data set so there are total 14 instances 9 yes and 5 no so we can write it down 9 yes five no and total 14 instances and this is the probability so the final probability will be uh, so we can calculate the final probability for this so we can calculate the probability for uh, 9 by 14 is 0 0.64 and 5 by 14 0 0.36 all right now the next step next step is to take this instance this instance outlook and calculate probability for outlook equal to sunny for yes okay and other hand we need to calculate probability of outlook equal to sunny for no all right then we need to calculate probability of 
temperature equal to cool for yes then probability of temperature equal to cool for no then we need to calculate the probability of humid high for yes and probability of humid high or no and probability of wind equal to strong or yes probability of wind equal to strong or no okay so let's calculate so we have noted down uh, we have written all all the given instances which are given and we need to calculate yes probability for all of them and no probability for all of them so let's calculate for outlook yes so for outlook for outlook how many yes are there for outlook sunny for outlook sunny how many uh, yes are there for outlook sunny one no two no and uh, outlook sunny three no one yes two yes so for outlook sunny there are two yes and three no okay the so next temperature equal to cool for temperature equal to cool if we calculate we have three yes and one no and for humidity yes for humidity equal to high we have three yes and four no and for wind equal to strong we, we have three yes and three no all right so now the point it should be divided by not by total yes but it should be divided but the but the number of uh, the yes the total yes yes it should be divided by nine this should be divided by nine this is the total number of yes so this is divided by nine this is divided by nine the total number of no's are five so three by five one by five one by five three by five <coughs> so so that's it now we need to actually we need to multiply all of the values yes values and we need to multiply all of the no values the probability of yes get multiplied by probability of sunny probability of sunny yes multiplied by probability of cool yes multiplied by probability of high yes multiply by probability of strong yes so there is there will be final answer for yes and probability of no probability of sunny no probability of cool no probability of high no probability of strong no so if all of the values they get multiplied together the answer will be point zero zero five three point zero zero five three and this is point zero two zero six and uh, out of out of probability of yes this, so this is the final probability of yes and this is the final probability of no for this specific instance so we can see there is a higher probability of no which is 0 0.02 as compared to 0 0.005 so the final uh, probability for this uh, instance 
is no. So that's it. So that's the final classification for this knife based classifier and we have solved it from uh, uh, by, we have solved it using uh, knife based classifier. So that's it. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this lecture. Hope you have enjoyed this video and we are going to record more videos in the future. So please like and subscribe and we are going to upload numerous videos on various stuff and see you then until then enjoy machine learning